for this part of your reading, when you're filling in the blanks, the two main strategies, your two best friends are going to be reading the keywords and predicting the answers. You're going to love me for telling you the strategy because it always works. Okay. You usually have a bunch of blanks and the options you're given are almost twice of that. So obviously some fit, some don't. What you should do before you start reading the actual passage is look at the options. All right. So you want to quickly skim over them. So you're going to look at Titan, Measure and Cup, Hammer and all of those things. Why do we do that? It's because you are almost in a way memorizing them before you go in the passage. Because what happens is when you go in the passage, you're going to look at this blank, you're going to come back here, you're going to look at the options. By the time you go back, you already forget what the sentence was. All right. So in order to prevent that, how nice would it be if you're just reading the sentence and your memory tells you something has to fit, you put that, you can go back later and check. Okay, so it helps in retaining your memory helps doing things very fast because you would, when you answer the passage, you would know the keywords automatically. Second thing is to predict prediction helps you in narrowing down what kind of answer would go there. For example, a ranch is a tool used to do something to, to things. So gap things, it has to be a verb, right? It has it's used to drill things, smash things, something like that. So I'm going to only look at verbs, tighten, cut, pour. Uh, that's it. Okay. So that's how quickly I was able to narrow down, narrow down my options. So a ranch would uh, tighten things. Okay. While a now with a, you can never use a verb. It has to be a noun. It cannot be an adjective, right? So it has to be a thing. So I'm going to look at things only this, 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 and not this, because it's S. And this is a so it cannot go with the uh, a things a cannot be with s, right. So it's going to be while a something and now now that I've narrowed down my options, let me read my sentence while a something is used to do something to the liquid. So it's about liquids, most likely, it's going to be poor. That's the only thing related to liquids. Once again, predicting. So let's say let's assume it's poor liquids. And then what could poor liquids? What could that noun be? Could be a measuring cup. Okay, uh, our other nouns like ranch or hammer is not gonna pour liquids, right? So a measuring cup would pour liquids, we got almost two, well, basically two answers, I would say more with predictions. Uh, this is also kind of with prediction. But also, if you have read the keywords, you would know that a ranch would tighten things, or it would be used, f not for hammering. So you would avoid the other options. Uh, essentially, knowing the keywords helps you quickly get that answer in. But predicting helps you narrow them down very quickly as well. Okay.